Hello everyone, I'm Bart, Tech Lead at Flobotics. Today we will focus on checking what possibilities Aura has in terms of PDF data extraction. We will present you one simple example of data extraction along with an explanation of the methods used by Aura, as well as one more complex example from everyday life. Let's go to the directory containing the sample PDF file. We can see a native PDF file containing a purchase order. An extremely important information is that for Aura, it does not matter whether we are dealing with a native file or a scan. Aura uses multiple ways of image recognition to identify elements. OCR, Azure Form Recognizer and Base64. Let's go to the Aura Assistant and see how they work in practice. Let's create a variable containing the relative path to our PDF file. Add a command responsible for data extraction from the file. Add a command to pause the execution of the workflow. Let's check how Aura reads the PDF file. Open the inspector, which, as the name suggests, allows us to inspect runtime variables and values extracted from the PDF. The main difference between Aura and other RPA tools is that when using the extract command, variables are automatically generated. They are labeled in the auto-generated column and contain an underscore after the variable sign. The generated names are consistent, meaning they do not vary across different invoices even if the labels on the invoices are different. It is possible to change the name of the auto-generated variables, however, today we will leave them as default. Let's verify if the selected values of automatically generated variables match the values from the file. For example, let's check name, address, city and phone number. All values have been correctly read. We can see that apart from extracting individual values, Aura has the ability to read the entire data table. In this example, the data table contains invoice items. We can notice that Aura uses two approaches to identify the data table. The first one is Azure Form Recognizer, and the second one is Base64. Depending on the needs, we should decide which algorithm returns better results from our perspective. More complex operations related to PDF files will be discussed in a separate video. Let's add a new workflow and create a more complex example. Now we will implement a scenario in which the Aura reads a list of invoices from the specified location. Then extract selected data and saves it in an Excel file. Let's go to the directory with the invoices. We can see that there are six files here. Let's open the ACME file first. We can see that it contains a data table and it's a native PDF file. The file for Brown Manufacturer is a scan and has a different format. Aura also handles different invoices templates. From the ACME file, we'll extract data such as company name, invoice number, invoice date, and total amount. From the brown file, we'll extract exactly the same information. Company name, invoice number, invoice date, and total amount. First of all, we'll add two commands that will allow the user to enter the path of the source folder and specify the output file. Secondly, let's create a data table and add a few columns with names indicated their purpose. 
we are naming the columns according to the data we'll be extracting. Now, we would like to be able to retrieve data from each individual file. To do this, we'll use a for loop. Add a command that reads data from the current file. Let's add the extracted data to the previously created data table. At the end, let's save the data to the file specified in the first step and send the data to the desktop. A brief explanation here of the last activity. This command is due to Aura's operation in assistant worker mode. The architecture of Aura will be discussed in a separate video. Running the automation can be done outside of the computer when the development takes place. Let's check how Aura is working with PDF extraction in a loop. Due to the use of machine learning, extracting elements takes a little longer than in case of other RPA tools. We can see that despite different invoice templates, Aura was able to easily read and properly classify the data, and the data table was successfully saved to the file. As a very last step, let's verify the accuracy of the extracted data on the random file. Everything looks good. Here's how we do PDF data extractions in Aura. Let's move on to the conclusions.